In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off sync in Microsoft Edge. This is a handy feature when you want to manage how your data is shared across devices for privacy or performance reasons. So let's get started. First things first, launch the Microsoft Edge browser on your device. You can do this by clicking on the Edge icon, either in your taskbar or from your list of applications. Once your browser is open, look to the top right corner of the window. You'll see three dots in a vertical line. This represents the More Actions menu. Go ahead and click on those dots and a drop down menu will appear. From this menu, select Settings. This will open up a new page filled with different options for customizing your Edge experience. Now on the left side of this settings page, you'll see a list of categories. Scroll through this list until you find Profiles. Once you've located it, click on Profiles. This action will bring up information about your current profile. If you have multiple profiles set up, you'll want to choose the one you wish to manage. Look under the Profiles options and click on Sync. This will lead you to a section dedicated to synchronization settings. Here you'll find a range of features that are currently set to Sync. These features could include things like your favorites, passwords, and history. Next to each of these items, you'll see a toggle switch. If the switch is on, it means that particular feature is syncing across your devices. To disable syncing for any of these features, simply click on the toggle switch. When the switch turns off, it means syncing has been disabled for that item. Now, if you prefer to disable syncing entirely, there's an alternative way to do this by signing out of your Microsoft account within Edge. Let me walk you through this process. Return to the settings and profiles section if you're not already there. Once there, you'll notice your profile image to the right. Next to it, you'll find an option to sign out. Go ahead and click on sign out. By doing this, you effectively disable all synchronization across all categories since your account will no longer be active within the browser. And there you have it. With these steps, you can either selectively disable sync for specific features or completely turn off all syncing by signing out. This provides flexibility based on your personal needs whether you're prioritizing privacy by limiting data sharing or improving your browser's performance by reducing background operations. I hope you found this guide useful and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.